learning about sole trader or proprietorship. The objective of this lesson is to learn about the definition about the sole, of, of the sole trader, some advantages of sole trader, and some disadvantages. Also, some examples of a sole trader. And at the end of the class, we will have a scenario of sole trader. Some key words or terms, I should say, is entrepreneurship. It's the act of starting and running your own business or a tendency to work for yourself in your own ventures. Another term is caliber. Caliber. Caliber is the quality of someone or something, especially someone's ability. We will now move on to sole trader slash proprietorship. Who is a sole trader? Or what is a sole trader business? A sole trader business is a simple business structure in which one individual runs and own the entire business. Now, if you have your textbook, Principles of Business, we start page 53. We will elaborate on who is a sole trader. A sole trader is one of the simplest and oldest forms of business in the world. Globally, this is the most popular form of business because of the ease in which it is to settle. There are many large successful companies existing in the Caribbean today that started out as a sole proprietor. Now let's look at some advantages of a sole trader. Every business has its pros and cons. We will look at some advantages of having a sole trader business. One, you are the boss. Meaning, since you alone are running the business, you are the boss. Another advantage is that you get to keep all the profit. Since there, it is not a partnership or a company, you are the only person in the business. All the profit is yours. Number three, startup costs are very low. Meaning, you can start up a sole trader business with just let's say fifty thousand Guyana dollar or a hundred thousand. A large amount of capital is not required to start up a sole trader business. Number four, you have maximum privacy. Since you are the only person running the sole trader business and managing it, you have maximum privacy, meaning no one interferes in your business. Number five. Establishing and operating your business is very simple since it doesn't require a large amount of capital and you're the only person managing the business and you're the only person that owns business. It's very simple. And with that being said, I will now hand you over to my colleague, Miss Joyce Sam, who will explain the disadvantages of a sole trader also some types of sole traders and she will also give you a scenario of a sole trader i would decide whether if he would go on the vacation or he would stay and work retaining high caliber employees can be difficult high caliber simply means high standard or qualified persons for instance we're just going to use an example, a barber shop. So the barber has his barber shop and he employs someone to work along with him. And whereby if there isn't enough customers on a daily basis, he would not be able to pay his employee the wages and give benefits so that employee whereby on the daily basis for instance if 
the barber makes four thousand dollars per day and his employees is supposed to receive a minimum wage of two thousand dollars per day if there aren't enough customers so give the barber or the sole trader four thousand per day he would be unable to pay his employee that works along with him the two thousand dollars that initially he was to pay that employee so it therefore means with retaining that employee that employee would now leave the sole trader business venture off to newer opportunities it can be hard to take holidays for instance with the scenario mr johnson he the sole trader or mr johnson would have to say whether he's gonna work on the holidays or he's gonna go on vacation so it basically means he would have to make that decision whether he works or not on holidays and it would be difficult because everyone likes their holidays. I'm going to name a few examples of sole proprietorships or sole traders. Some examples are, are hairdressers, florists, the local coffee shop, market vendors, barbers, painters, electricians, and as well as in the scenario housing contractors okay class before we finish today's lesson let's recap our topic by completing the worksheets that would be circulated please take your time read the questions thoroughly and please choose the best answers good luck the worksheet that was provided to the class in total 10 questions was provided to students